This is Ouch My Wallet, hosted by Robert Simmons, a production of the PF Talk Network. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ouch My Wallet, part of the TF Talk network of shows. I'm your host, Rob Simmons, and with me today we have Mr. Jack. Hola, how are we doing today? We have Paul. Yo. And we have Anna with us. Hello, good evening. So, uh, I think uh, today, you know, we're all stuck inside like everyone else, and, uh, you know, we thought we'd do a show... uh, just a little chill show, maybe a little bit more chill than normal. Uh, just kind Make of it more easy. chill than Paul and his hood up. <laughs> Everybody hoodie up. <laughs> so, uh, who wants to kick it off? I don't I don't think you've been on the show in a while, Jack. I think you're the longest. I was going to say ladies first. I'm a gentleman. You want to go first, Anna? No, go for it, Jack. If you're the, if you are the not have been here long nice person. Because, yeah, I mean, usually Wednesdays have been... My night to work, and obviously, I'm out of work for I don't know how long, so let's start off with uh, my most recent studio series, Bumblebee. Yay! Actually, it was actually more fun than I was expecting, and the look on the other guy's face as I pulled this down from the top shelf at Walmart, his face was priceless. (laughs) He's like, why? Yeah, what's up with his face? So, so... This guy was, uh, obviously, I'm looking at the Transformers section. This other guy's looking at it, too. So he's literally hugging the whole Transformers section at Walmart. So I'm trying to, you know, get in and look at stuff that, you know, I just wanted something to get, you know, because I was supposed to go to sh- out of town this weekend, and I was planning on getting something, but obviously that ain't happening. So I said, screw it, I'll just get something now. There's nothing on the main pegs I wanted. Look up right on the top shelf. There was two deluxes. Bumblebee happened to be one of them. The guy saw that I handed it down, and he had this look of disgust on his face. And he's like, "Really?" And I'm like, "See ya." I mean, was it because that toy's crap, or because he's like, "Why are you buying?" Toys? I think he was looking for it. Oh, <laughs> I think he was looking for it. I mean, that's. I'm like, were yeah. you were you taller than this than this person? Yeah, but he still could have made it easily. But snoozing. He didn't. It's his loss. Yeah, real time. Sneeze. You won that battle. So, which uh, Bumblebee was that? It was the uh, 07 movie Camaro. The yeah, 07 Camaro Bumblebee. So now that's it's actually not bad. Now that one's but, been out a while, right? I believe so, because I believe it was like the sound wave. Maybe a month. It hasn't yeah, been out oh, for too okay. long. Can't keep track of all the Bumblebee releases anymore. Well, the next wave. Shit. Has been hitting stores, and that ha- that has another bumblebee in it. This is the Jeep. Off road bumblebee. Stores. Stores. <laughs> it's a weird word. I don't know what those are? Aren't those the toilet paper warehouses. Yeah, oh. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Have you had a chance to transform it yet? <laughs> I did, and actually not bad. Not bad. Lengthy, but yeah, not bad. That's one of the newer ones, right? Yeah, Peroni. Yeah, okay. I was a little disappointed in that one. Sorry, Anna. Hold on. Oh, that's okay. I was just going to say the only Studio B I have is that garbage beetle from the movie. And it's so bad. I just, I didn't, I didn't hate that. I like the idea of a of a bug from you know a toy based off that movie, but I'm probably gonna end up getting one of the third party ones. Um, I know Zetas is out. They're now. real nice. Zetas is out now, and then I think Trans Element or whatever it is is supposed to be out soon. And I think there's a third one that I liked best that I think always seems like the gray proto versions of, but I can't remember who made it. it may have been some you know air quotes new company, meaning you know it's. An existing 3P company with a new name because that's what they do. But we'll see. 
Yeah, Nero, the Zeta one looked really complex. That's why I was kind of staying away from it. it didn't It didn't look fun. He looked a little skinny. And since there's so much competition on it, I thought I'd probably wait till some others are out and make a decision. It looks, I mean, it looks like it's nice and detailed, but yeah, it looked uh, pretty miserable. That 3A one is nice, though. Like, I know it doesn't transform, but Lucas is right that it's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I can't get into the statue game. <laughs> Stay they on. move. They definitely move, but... They're action I'm statues. I'm kind of tempted to get one, I don't know. I think if I just absolutely loved the Bumblebee movie, like my favorite movie ever, I would probably buy the 3A one because it looks so nice. Um, but otherwise, I just got to... That doesn't rise in my budget. At least not yet. So, Anna, what do you what have you gotten recently? Sure. Um, I guess I'll just go over the the more interesting one yeah. and do the less interesting later. So earlier in the week, I told people in our Discord chat that I give them a preview of what I got recently by putting Daddy. this tiny crimson figure. Which no one in the chat really seemed to know where it came from. I think this is probably the first Grimzeek figure. Is that right? Oh, I think EPO Five Megatron was the first use, maybe. Was he? Was Sounds he? right, but hang on. Did he come with? I'm gonna Auto Roper as well from the Alternators. Uh, yes, it uh, did. Tech, well, right. not Alternators, but Kiss, Kiss players. players. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. With this one. <laughs> Great. And, yes, I was able to yep, finally was first. Woo. talk myself into getting one of the kids' players' figures, one of the three, um, one of the three repurposed alternators molds that was made for it. Um, <laughs> if people don't know, you know, kids' players was mid-2000s. It was a Japanese accompaniment to alternators instead of just having you know the plotless alternators like we did they gave three of the characters a plot of sorts <laughs> and it was absolutely weird it everyone watched it for the plot <laughs> it was it was definitely about the relationships between the robots and their young yeah. friends that's the least um, weird like virgin nice <laughs> the least weird. what I think of the <laughs> girls. This character? Yeah. You think so? I think she's the weirdest, but I'm not going to get into that on the show. <laughs> I just remember the hot rod has like a chain around her neck or something. You know, I mean, oh, that's your king. Yeah, the Go relationship's it, not but, great. You know. <laughs> well, this one actually, every time, not quite, um, this one actually, every time she uses her ability to connect to her robot, which they do by kissing, right? They kiss the robot and then they go inside them for power up mode. Every time she gets ejected, she gets sick from it. So she also comes with a pair of arms that hold a little puke bag so that she can infinitely puke. Like oh, I, I have this is. toy and I do. I mean, I still have, you didn't know about the alternate arms. I do uh, not remember. I must've blocked it. From my memory completely. They are, so they are taped on the bottom. Okay, at least you block it. Plastic. Oh, man. And they are. But, 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 if you have her wear those arms, she is giving an infinite and constant panty shot. Which is why she's not wearing them for the sake of this video. Because I really don't want to hold up a little anime girl figure with the panty shot. <sighs> so, yeah, Kids Players was inappropriate in a lot of ways. So, people Those are, are not fan of it but it had some of the best decos for one good and two decent molds from the alternators line i personally think i really regretted selling my alternators jazz but i had that one per character rule so i had another jazz so i had to get rid of it um but i did not have any auto roopers so therefore i was totally fine getting this one and as you can See from the side of the box that I'm willing to show on camera. I'm not willing to show the front. Um, <laughs> reasons. Um, as you can see, he's one of many, right? They were True generic goals. robots that were built by humans. Um, this one is not so generic. It gets its own personality because it's hers, but um, it comes with stickers that you can put on and make it any of different model numbers. And um, yeah, it's 
It's fun. I haven't decided if I'm going to put the stickers on it or not yet. I would forgotten just how good it's a, <laughs> it's not pornographic. It's just inappropriate. Um, it's just anime. That's one way to put it. <laughs> well, like my wife got me the uh, hot rod one for like Christmas. I mean, you know, like I gave them a list and she gets that in. She's like, what the hell is this? Because on the hot rod box, the girl's doing like a high kick with a panty shot. Or something, and like uh-huh. that's the cover of the box, and like the robots in the background, you know. And she's like, "What do you have?" I'm like, "It's a toy, I swear, or, or Transformer." Toy. I <laughs> I have the Rodimus and Optimus boxes somewhere in my pile of garbage back here because I, I kept them, and I was like, "These are so weird." I feel like the box might be worth something. They are so weird. <laughs> so they're they sitting behind the MP Prime <laughs> boxes. I mean, we they you might, know what? We, we say they're weird, but like. If you go to any of the Japanese hobby stores online and like go to the anime section, it's filled with way worse stuff, you, you know, as, yeah. as far as lewdness goes, which, you know, like, you know, go sexuality or whatever, but it's just a little over the top and feels almost exploitative in a way. And the fact that they're and, drawn. And that, like, was, that was my hesitation. It doesn't belong in Transformers, at least not to that degree, in my opinion. But it was. The toys are cool. So, show off uh, Otto Roper's uh, gun. I always thought that was a really cool... Yes, that's what I was about to show off. So, what I think it's cool is that this they made these more sets, right? They actually came with things. So, he comes with four cones that you can set around to make a display. And those four cones transform into a gun. So, you basically stack them together. And one of them has a gun nozzle. The other one has a handle. And the two in the middle just kind of go in there. And it makes this weird stacking cone gun that is, it's unique, right? Like, it's the only stacking cone gun ever. Yeah, I mean. And, and Great, now somebody's going to make that into a cosplay. <laughs> but it's not. It is super cool. Like, it's it's weird, the gun is, but, it, like, it's not like it takes up a bunch of space, you know. And you're like, oh, man, they, like, when they made the Dinobots combine. Some people are like, oh, cool, they combine. I'm like, yeah, but they ruined some of the figures to make them combine. Like, I think the Grimlock hurts a whole bunch because they made him a combine. Yeah. Like, that didn't hurt anything. It was neat. It takes two seconds to fiddle with it. It's kind of just a, a fun little add-on, even though it's not, like, amazing. But you don't see that. That's cool. I think it's pretty amazing. I think it's really fun. But honestly, like, I had forgotten just how detailed the car modes are. For these um, figures, because the one I got was used, and the person who sold it to me actually put Atari, his Kiss player, inside of the car. And I, for a second, I thought she was missing. I was like, oh no, I'm missing my weird, awkward little anime girl figure. And then eventually I opened the doors and I was like, oh yeah, this actually has an interior. It has actual functional front and back seats and a steering wheel. And everything, it still turns into what is actually a really cool robot design. Yeah, like if it had just a little bit more articulation. That's it's... one of the that's one of the best of the alternators is that mold. It especially, is especially it really the shockwave. Yeah, shockwave is so cool. Yeah, that uh, you know, for any you know younger fans or you know newer to the line or just completely missed out on those, that it's hard to remember that like that figure is huge compared to today's figures. That was oh, it is even less. And Vinyl Tech and Kiss players had die cast in them, and like even if you yes. in, when you imported those, they were like fifty bucks. Versus, and then we got yeah. those in in the U.S. as alternators, which were plastic and were twenty dollars. Can you imagine getting a figure that size, that much, Shit. that many parts, and just that complex? Yeah, there's the Optimus Prime uh, alternators for twenty dollars. It's yeah. The times have changed, <laughs> you know. We're filling old. This would be a fifty dollar toy, like right now, if they'd sell oh, it absolutely. again, just with plastic and yeah, call it leader class and be like, oh yeah, here you go. Honestly, I think they're too complex yeah. even for modern day leader class. Probably that's true. Now the bummer news about this is that these are not easy to get cheap now. Um, you know, I settled Good. for a used one to keep it under a hundred dollars, um, but. If they're not, if they're brand new, they're going to be more than $100. And I can see people wanting a new one just, you know. Well, they have a lot of accessories, so it's easy to lose those They do. Yeah. Like, yeah. how many people might have just been like, oh, the, this cone gun is stupid, and, like, 
toss it aside or something, even though that's the coolest part. Yeah. You know, you find a lot of um, you find a lot of them on eBay set, for yeah. sale without their girls. <laughs> Whatever that means. Of course. <laughs> can, can, I I can I tell? Can I tell an old timer story about alternators a little bit? I guess. I mean, sure. Like, I don't want to like. I know we're not going to talk a ton about toys. We're only going two rounds, but. Jack and Anna, I don't know if you were there for this, but Rob, I know you probably were. Were you collecting alternators? I bought. Oh, I was. Like in real time. Prime was, Prime was my first one, and that was just a few years ago from Sergio. Okay. Well, so the internet was a lot different back then, and um, there used to be like this website that had all the rumors for what alternators were going to be. Did any of you guys ever go to that website? I remember you telling that story before. I did not. <laughs> Oh my god! Dig it up. That was back when like rumors circulated, and there was no way to confirm them. Like there was no official channel for like Hasbro or anything. And I just remember all the crazy stuff. Like Trailbreaker was on there. Uh, that's where I first heard about Decepticharge Charge, and then like Black Widow. I think it actually came out right. Wasn't there? Black there Widow was a did black... not come out. We saw, the, but that like, was it was marketed or something, or like we saw the prototypes and stuff, but it never came out. Dep- uh, Decepticharge Charge did though. Decepta Charge, yeah. And then Wind Charger. He came out. It's just like every alternator that came out was like it's it's kinda like when the masterpiece toys come out now. That's what every alternator release was like. It was just like, what what are they gonna do next? Are they gonna reuse this mold? Oh my god. Uh it it was it was an awesome, like um innocent time compared to what it's like now, sort of. You know, it's like way more the it's it's way more um you can. You, you, there's a pattern to it now, like yeah. a release pattern and everything. I just want to tell. It was a great thing. turning point for toy robots, honestly. I mean, those are scale model cars as well. Like, and, you know, like you were saying, Anna. They are. You know, the doors open. So cool. The trunks usually open. The hoods open, and there's engine detail inside. Usually, the gun in on most of the figures, like the <laughs> the gun becomes an engine, um, and it's just, you know, gone. But I don't know. I mean, it was a great line. It had a good run. It, you know. Yeah, they're very complete. They're very cool. Yeah. Oh, and the last thing is these things. These the kids players come with the audio CDs of the um, radio drama that are oh. in Japanese, of course. So if you if you know Japanese, you could listen to it. And I'm sure that it's relatively upsetting. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the aftermarket is on that. But if anybody was looking to collect the line, like Kiss players also had um, a release of three of the egg bots. They're the little circle transformers that I think were first came out in like one of the, maybe like Beast Wars Neo, Beast Wars Second or something, but they got recolored in like translucent colors for this as well as a cassette pack with um, a white Ravage and a, a white and pink uh, eject mold that you know Ros- Rosanna, right? Rosanna, that's it. Yeah. Oh, and the yep. an orange uh, laser beak, I think. Sundor. Yeah. Is there a- if I <laughs> was there a four, <laughs> or was it just a three? Well, was a three. And of course, the, the white and, then I, and I want to shattered glass ravage retroactively. Um, yeah, I think it was called glit. That sounds right. I'm pulling yeah. my inner Peter out yeah. here. How to... <laughs> Clearly, I'm a Kiss <laughs> Players fan. Let's get a new third party figure this weekend. So <laughs> yeah. good for glit. Yeah. yeah, and I have mine over on my shelf. I still have those. I've been thinking about getting rid of Jazz or Shockwave. Like I've, I've thinned down my alternators, vinyl tech shelf a bit. I have two. Um, I still have two shelves of it though, but you know I couldn't decide if Auto Rupert, Jazz, or Shockwave, and they're all so pretty. You know, it's so definitely pretty. keep Auto Rupert. He's got the gun, and he's got the he's got a little crimson zeke. I mean, I have other crimson zeke, so but yeah, I don't know. Thinking How back, I would Rupert probably keep. Do you have in your collection? Auto Rupert. Yeah. I was just, uh, I was looking at, my, I have a sealed set of the BotCon ones, the animated ones that I was looking at just today. So, whoa. <laughs> my nose itched. <laughs> so, yeah, and in case you were, in case you were curious as to why we don't really want to talk much about the plot, you can notice that the figure has a weird little silver drip on her chin. And there tends to be a lot of that kind of weird stuff. In his players, it's out there. It's it's a tear. She's crying, which is still bad. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm so lonely. Why don't I kiss a, kiss a giant robot? <laughs> All right. <sighs> well, I'm going to change the subject 
and go into mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good luck. yeah. Um, I, do, I honestly, I don't have anything that was a, an actual ouch. My stuff was pretty cheap, but I found the what's it, Smashdown? Is that his name? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I don't even know if he's rare or hard to find, but I finally saw him and I was like, oh, cool, that's the hammer dude. I'll buy that. Um, <laughs> you know, how many toys do we have that transform into a hammer? One. <laughs> I'm holding it. What, what was it? Was it Siege or Earthrise? Uh, it's called Recycled. <laughs> Shit's gone. I don't remember. <laughs> you, you don't remember? Like, was it was it a yellow or like like a green package or a black one? I honestly don't remember. I, I take that shit and trash it, man. I don't care. <laughs> I, I mean, I keep All the right. instructions, you know, and put them in my sh- uh, oh, my drawers. But, let's see. but yeah, um, he's cute. Well, check the instructions. Then they'll, that'll okay. tell you. Yeah, I don't have them out here anymore, but not that you need them for this. But, you know, I don't know, it has the blast effect. It's cool. You know, it's a decent-looking little hammer, although if any of y'all have them, what do you do with the stick in robot mode? <clears throat> Silent. It makes them look bad. That's what it does. Yeah. I mean, it takes two seconds to transform it, which I was a little disappointed that he's got this cool-looking bull head, but, like, it doesn't... Or Is it supposed to be a bull? Or are you supposed to put it down like... I can't. That can't be right. You know, it's it's got to just be a little robot dude with a bull head. It is a little robot, yeah. Pretty much all the new characters that are battle masters have like some sort of animal head, yeah, relation yeah. to them. Okay. Uh, it feels he's like a minotaur. Yeah, yeah, minotaur. That's definitely a better fit. But I don't know what you do with the handle in this mode. Like he doesn't. It doesn't feel like it would have been tough to put a peg on this so that he could hold it as a stick and whack people with a stick or something or plug in in a different way as a tail or even just plug into the back. But all you can do is just kind of keep it where it was originally. Check those instructions. I don't think they said anything. But I was, maybe I was missing something, you know? And when he was like, Oh yeah, you can plug it in here. It's not mentioned whatever. I don't know. I haven't opened it. So I don't know. <laughs> I know you can put that with a, uh... There's like this weird gun that comes with Soundwave and Sound Blaster that you can like turn into a long stick and put him on the end of it, and it makes like a Magnus hammer that looks really cool. Um, cool. I still have my Ultra Magnus from Prime that has the Magnus hammer. That was the. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's a. I don't know if it's a pretty unique release. Of course, you have you have every Ultra Magnus, right? Isn't that your? Most of them, yeah. I'm missing a few, but yeah. I, I keep most I'm of close them. So that too, actually. Now that I think of it. But, it's important. Yeah, but yeah, so this isn't an amazing figure, but for was it under ten bucks? I don't know. It's fun. It's cute. Um, hammers are pretty unique. We don't get too many hammers, and it's got a cool blast effect. So it's neat. It's not a biggie though. What about you, Paul? Did you finally remember what you had bought? This um, week? I came up with a second thing I can pull out, but you won't be impressed. Um. Pull out the impressive thing first. So this, this is, I don't know if it's impressive, but this is a deluxe hot rod from Cyberverse. Ooh. Which I think is pretty cool. He's very red. He's got all the things you want. Ankle tilts, swivels, wrist swivels, waist swivels. Crunch. Doesn't have that, no. Butterfly but Everything joint. locks into place pretty good. Wrists. No, but... Wrist, oh, yes. Wow. Yes, wrist, okay. yes. Cyberverse having wrist when like a lot of our deluxes the past several years haven't. That's something. Well, these Cyberverse deluxes are 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 high quality toys. Like these are yeah, they're really solid. Good. I thought they were that crap. And plastic. it even has one of those. They're, so the plastic yeah. is worse than it should okay. be. Okay. I guess whatever. Um, <laughs> it's like a now. It yeah. It kind of it seems like it's a not made of now and later's that I could like chew. <laughs> So um, there, there even is one of those like butt pegs for that little I don't know what to, to put this smash down hands there. people use. Bloop. Yeah, it would work <laughs> for a stand. Well, what's great is this guy comes with uh, you know, all all of these actually all the deluxes come with these blast effects. I think that's just like that that might might be in Transformers to stay now, which is kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, I like that across that's, two lines. That's it's good. I wish his like. Thighs were painted orange all the way around, though. Oh, that's so cheap. That's no. kind of, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh man. So, <laughs> I mean, it's Cyberverse. I get it, but 
Yeah. Yeah, the Cyberverse Deluxe, it's all kind of have, like, that, like, however moment, you know? Like, yes. it's like, gotcha. Like, you're like, wow, this is really cool. This is, like, opening a new Siege figure. It's so neat. It's moved so well. And it's like, gotcha. oh, It's like a, crap. the designer got 85% <laughs> through doing what they wanted to do. And then they were told, nope, next one, Shunk. is like, shit. All right. <laughs> you know, on Nero says uh, Hot Rod is his least favorite of the wave. He likes the rest quite a bit better. I mean, I... have you have sure. ever played with the rest? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I've opened them all so far. <laughs> um, I would say, yeah. I think Shockwave was my least favorite. I like Shockwave. Grimlock is great. I mean, I, th- I think they're all great, especially with considering what came before. This is definitely the best hot rod in the line, though, <laughs> like by a million miles. So. I mean, sure. It, it, if you got to compare them all, maybe this isn't the strongest one. But I like Hot Rod. I collect Hot Rod, and I think this is dope. And yeah, the I big chunks all... over his hands don't do him any favors. But that's the first thing that it just doesn't it just doesn't bother me. I guess it I doesn't bother know. me on like Micro Masters, you know, and stuff like that. When you got a big panel arm, but on a figure that size, yeah. it really sticks out to me. But again, you know, it's cyber with the fires on. With the fires on, I think it works. Flips this under, but still the the stuff over the fists, you know, this extra bit here, this would uh-huh. still be there. Mm-hmm. So I don't. I just I just don't care about that kind of shit. Like I, I this is how it is. I like yeah. it. The car is actually kind of silly because it's basically just like a super future car. It looks like it looks like the Tesla truck, but a race car. <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like it's unrendered. With the spoiler, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I think it's great. Now my now my uh, McAdam can at least stand. <laughs> oh, poor McAdam. All right. So, uh, do we want to do another round? We've been going thirty minutes. Yeah, one round we, took us thirty minutes. Do? I mean, all I really wanted to talk about was Auto Rupert. <laughs> that was my. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I've literally wanted to talk about this thing for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so do we want to go another round, or we want to call it early show tonight? Democratic. <laughs> Listen to the enthusiasm. <laughs> Listen to the democracy. I, I'm game. If we did I a guess. second round, it would be a lightning round for yeah. me, because I would go really fast. Let's, yeah, let's go. Do, let's do a quick yeah, round. All I got is another cyber. Yeah, I only got so. one other toy anyways. Lightning round. Kick us off, Jack. All right, so I wasn't originally planning on getting uh, He was on sale, and I said, you know what, screw it, and I finally got Siege Starscream. I got oh, him wow. with, uh, I, think, I think it was like the Siege Voyagers were like, well, no, it was buy one, get one half off, and then was that Siege the Voyagers sale? were like, yeah, it was the Siege Voyagers were like $10 off. So pretty much, I pretty much paid... 30 bucks for Starscream, and I got a free impactor for it. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you might as well. Yeah, boy. Nice. So I'm, I'm like, damn, this is actually better than I was expecting. See, Paul, sometimes I still like it. snoozing pays off. Yeah, I still want to get Very things. rarely. You can't, very you can, rarely, but you, this works. Wave one or two, I think it's okay to snooze usually. Usually. <laughs> yeah. It is still like it. Yeah. <laughs> I still want to get Earthrise Starscream. I oh, is that, was I that, just, the, that wasn't oh, Earthrise Siege. Starscream? That was the other one? Siege. Yeah, it's oh. Siege Scream. I saw, awesome I saw Earthrise once, and I am kicking myself for leaving him at the... I found Grapple like three or four other times, but I haven't seen Starscream since. That's the way it goes. Isn't Starscream the short-packed one, like one to two? Yeah. 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 There'll be a lot of grapples on the shelves. There will be a lot of Star Screams before the year's over, though. Yeah. He's getting repacked with the Megatron and I think some other stupid Voyager. So, Snapdragon. Yeah. So, he'll be all over the place. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be patient and wait. Maybe just wait till he goes on sale like Siege Star Scream here. Get him for 20 bucks. I mean, those fingers. I would imagine there's going to be some insano sales at major retailers in the next two months. Yeah. They're going to be like, buy anything, 25% off. If we're allowed to go to the store. Yeah, no shit. 
Well, that's the thing. Once you're allowed to go back in, they're going to be like, yeah. just buy it off! Yeah. You know, so. 100 people at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Anna. Oh, my second? Yes, wow. Ma'am. All right. Okay, well, I have the interesting lock, the secondhand set of the Dr. Wu cassettes for um, Siege Soundwave. So these are two of the Siege style micro cassettes. They're super small. And they have the same functionality as the main ones. I, I noticed Rob giving it a strange look because he's probably trying to figure out what it is. No, it's a I, really good question. I remember seeing it advertised. I'm just uh, paying attention to it as you transform it and thinking about it. <laughs> like I was, yeah, tempted, like, hmm. I was tempted by them just because, you know, they're, they're different. They're small, you know, small toys are fun. And this is a drone thinner. I mean, I'm not, I'm actually not, not sure about the origin of these guys, like where they come from, if anywhere, but it's a little drone. It has moving propellers and it, uh, it just kind of sits there on the ground. <laughs> eh. They were, they remind me because there's a, a little tank thing as well in the set, right? Yes. It's coming next. So there's also a little, like, Astro Rover dude. And this one is really cool. Like, this one, you know, it, it's it's a full little vehicle. It has a moving little, like, probe thing that you can do all sorts of fun things with. Yeah, now you're thinking about the Atari. interplay. <laughs> Poor Atari. Yes, the the interplay <laughs> between this and my kids' player. <sighs> Goodness. Um, but yeah, it rolls, it has moving parts and it, you know, it gives you something you didn't have before because you probably don't have a little drone rover for, um, sound waves slash new sound wave to use. And now I do. So it's cool. It feels like they're kind of inspired by, um, the auto scout, which was, uh, I think that was, was that blasters or was it sound waves? It was, it was in an episode. It was sound wave. It was. It grabs the crystals out of, uh, and then blows up. I have... Auto Scout from somebody in third party did it in a masterpiece style. Was it KFC? Yeah. I was trying to it's KFC. The spot where it is, I'm gone blind. I must have it misplaced. But yeah, it feels like they were inspired by that. Like not obviously not replicating that, but just kind of in that vein of little little drone tapes that do things. Do you remember how? Yeah. So I'm like, I didn't pay a lot for them. I think you get them under twenty bucks. For the set or each? Just under 20 bucks before shipping. For for the set, for the pair. So they're not bad. You know, they're they're almost twice as much as you would pay for one of the Hasbro sets. But they're a third-party set that's really, really niche. Because they're, you know... It's not like they're classic characters that are missing. They're weird little things that your sets can also transform into. I think they're cool, though. I'm really happy with them. Well, I'm really happy with the blue one and the red one I tolerate. It exists. Yeah, I think they're good little uh, impulse buys. You know, if TFCon had happened, you know, it's something that I could see picking up in the dealer room, you know, just because it's there. It's like, ah, you know, that's fun. Something cute to open and play with. All right, so my next one is actually something Jack mentioned. It's the only other new thing I've gotten recently. Uh -oh. Impactor. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, this is Ironworks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, uh, hang on. Oh, Rob confused. Rob is, we get a joke? Rob is old and dying. Hey. Oh. What's that? Oh, Impactor. Impactor. My God, dude. Ironworks. This is how Impactor. Ironworks. My brain is so far gone. When you said Impactor, I was for some reason I was thinking Erector. The MicroMaster. <laughs> and then I was like, uh, oh, MicroMaster. I was like, oh, it must be this because it starts with an I. Erector. The famous Erector. Yeah. Huh. My God. I think everyone's brains are overworked a bit right now. It's acceptable. Yeah. Work was... Uh... Yes, it is super acceptable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I got him from uh, Hasbro Pulse, I think last week or something like that. I don't know. Or a couple weeks ago. Um, I I don't... Part of me is like, why did I buy this? Because it's the weaponizer play pattern, which I bought the, th uh -huh. the three of them from... Uh, you know, the previous lines. And I didn't really like any of them. Like, I don't hate the play pattern. I just don't think it's the way I like to play with things. Um, but, you know, I was like, you know, who else is going to do six gun and brunt and whatever, you know? So so I picked them up. Um, I will say that of that play pattern, I think this is the most fun. 
I like the little base mode better than, you know, random bits put together and now it's a tank or something, maybe, if you think it is. You know, I, f- I find this makes... Cog in his tank with a trailer mode? <laughs> yeah. So I found this a little more fun to play with. I was able to make up some, you know, of, you know, fan modes or whatever just to just to mess with it. Um, I think it'll be better once we get a little bit more of the bases to snap them together. I think that'll be cool. Um, the only thing I kind of don't like about it is... On the one hand, it's like, oh, look, the paint. All this yellow is paint that they put on there. And it's like, cool. Yeah. I like it when Hasbro paints figures. But I, it's yellow over black, which is really hard yeah. to get yeah. right. And I think they tried to pass that off as intentional. as like, oh, you know, it's kind of dingy and rusty because it's like a, I don't know, like a scooper thingy platform base or whatever. I don't think it pulled that off. Crane. I think it just looks like a crappy paint job, even though like it's glossy and has a nice finish to it. It's just, it just came off as thin. Um, if you'd like to see a full discussion of that paint job and also a wonderful battle back alt mode made by Anna, please tune in to the previous episode of microcasters in which we talked about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you hit up our uh, YouTube channel, there is a microcasters playlist it has all of the most recent ones at the top. You can find it easily. Or you can just search YouTube for MicroMasters Ironworks. But yeah, so I got him, and he goes with uh, you know what I showed last week with when I bought all those MicroMasters online. Um, I felt if they're going to do the bases, they really should have came with their MicroMaster. Um, I feel that's yes. kind of... On the one hand, like kids buying today aren't going to know that it's not there, but obviously this line is... you know Collectors are a large consumer of this line. It's, just, it's all G1 throwbacks, pretty much, so... Marketing. Yeah. I'll just wait to hear me complain about how the art fire we end up getting won't come with Nightstick. It'll be it'll be great. I'll just go on for like three hours. Well, all that to say is if you uh if you didn't like the weaponizer if you like the weaponizer play pattern, you know, I think pick it up and I think it's cool. If you didn't like it, I think this is better than those turned out as far as a play pattern. I found the base more interesting than the other stuff it did. And I found it a little easier to just kind of mess around and make stuff. I wish the ramps were a little larger. The MicroMaster barely fits on it. Um, but, you know, I think that it can, that'll be solved when we get some more ramp masters and crap. But I haven't seen that guy yet. And that, that one never went up for... Ramp masters. The ramp master never went up for sale on Hasbro Pulse either, I don't think, did it? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. So maybe it will at some point. But, yeah. Gotta go somewhere else for that. You don't think it's going to show up at some point? You think it's done? No, they're they're not gonna put. It's not worth it to them to put such a low price point item up on their website with free shipping and blah 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 blah. They had five ten dollar items nope. on there, but you know what? That's that's why you have to buy ten packs of cards at a time instead of one. You take it back, yeah, because Smashdown wasn't up there either. So a lot of the, a lot of nope. the single guys aren't. The two pack MicroMasters are up there, I think, right? I know I've got. Uh, maybe. Well, those are ten bucks. Yeah. You know, that's a minimum minimum price point that they put on Hasbro Pulse. God, is the Rat Master? Was it like seven then, or something? I don't. Yeah, there's there's six. Okay. Interesting. Look at Paul deciphering how the industry works for us. Oh. <laughs> All I do is look at things and respond. So, um, my yep. turn, right? Yep. Going out with a bang. Right is out on the loan out. Warrior class, Bumblebee, bro. Whoa. I mean, you can leave so, the way up there. We can see you through it just fine with that thin ass plastic. Yeah, Actually, uh, yeah, yeah can, pretty much. Can see through. Um, <laughs> so this is the third Warrior Bumblebee. You breathe on it and it breaks. No, it's 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 fucking. Funny. I, it would be so great if that had <laughs> broke right then. That would have been the best. Yeah, it would have been really funny. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for too. So they've made this toy three times. This is the third one. And uh, if anyone's paying attention, this is the Cybertronian version. Yeah, I was going to ask you. He's from were, Cybertron. Were they all the same design, or if they're all like a little different? It sounds like this one at least is a. They're little... all. It's mostly like the weapons that are on his arms. Like the the second version had two. Both hands were missile hands, which was kind of weird, because they these do have like gimmicks. You know, like I, I can hardly get it to work, but it's like a spring loaded punch gimmick thing. I can't, see, I can't even do it. Whatever. Those are always those, those are always the calling card of bad toys. Yeah. You know, if they have. I'm out of sideswipe. Yeah. But 
if you if you have one of these compared to the deluxes of this in the same line, you can really see like the difference in um, quality and like parts count. You know, like the leg on Bumblebee for for the deluxe version is like made of four or five pieces. This one is made of one. So this isn't like part of the like at least the foot something different. This is a different size okay. class. It's a totally different. Um, it's a warrior. Yeah, it's a, the warrior class, which was a holdover from the R.I.D. Okay. The, it was basically, you know, cheaper, smaller than Deluxe. That's why it was, like, kind of notable when they said, hey, we're doing Deluxe class in the kid line. It's like, whoa. A few figures. They can pull that off okay. Well, it was three seasons. So if you've been paying attention to it, that's you're three years older than when you started. So, sure. like, it's a lot. Ha- I, don't, I don't have a child, but I imagine a lot happens. A lot can happen in those three years. Um, I was so but, young when it started. <laughs> I mean, if we collect toys, no, we're five. No, I mean, toys were our own children. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's right. True. So here's the cyber futuristic bumblebee. Well, the funny thing about it is it has no wheels now, so it don't <laughs> doesn't have doesn't even have to roll anymore. It's just a floating car. It's a fifth element I car. Give that three thumbs down. Hey guys, here's a yellow thing. Marty Pass. <laughs> it's actually yeah. It's it's uh. What's his name in that movie? Bruce Willis. What's his? Corbin Dallas's car. It's his cab. Yeah. More or less. Was that a fifth element reference? Baby squids. I'm playing catch up here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah he said, said it. He said, said it. Said it was a. F- yeah. It Anyways. Just went really hard. I don't know. I I like. I like it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's silly. It's like, I wouldn't you know, recommend those it. Those are so fun. I mean, we're Transformers fans. We should have fun with any decent transforming toy. I I bought yeah. that um, armor. I wear a battleship Cheetor for a minute, and that was fun. Then I well, handed it to Lucas because it wasn't going to stay at my house. But I bought it and returned it to you. I was like, nah. Compared. Compared to that, I mean, those were like a smaller size class than this. You were paying for the yeah. armor up thing in that in that horrible. I mean, those those really annoyed the hell out of me. I did not like those because there's too many springs, too many things that like don't actually work. I thought the plastic but, uh, cheater, at least for the day or two I owned it, was nice. At least like the plastic didn't feel like garbage. That's yeah. good. The cheater was actually yeah. okay. Like it's it's an extremely simple it, toy. It's totally it's fine. Just I didn't care about the armor, and so it wasn't worth like twenty twenty five bucks or whatever. I was like, nah. Mm 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 mm. Well, that clearanced out at about eleven dollars around me. Really? Mm hmm. I probably would have picked it up yeah. for that and just thrown away the armor. <laughs> just how much I hate it. Just get the little <laughs> cheater, throw it on my beast Wars shelf. Well, th- this. This toy, I, you can get them for a, about eleven dollars at Walmart all day. That's just like the price that they have them at. They're about fifteen at Target. I mean, just get them at Walmart if you have any desire. We, like the the gnaw is also was a previous wave, but it's the same size class, and that's you know decent. Oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> we not? Yeah, I think so. So uh, you know. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for joining us in live chat. We hope everybody's uh, keeping safe and keeping healthy. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to do our shows. You know, we're all bummed about TFCon not happening. Yeah. But, you know, we think it was you know, the right decision. But, you know, it still gives us all a sad. Um, if you were interested in the TFCon exclusives yeah. coming from MMC, um, the, there's the their RC mold. Our, Azalea is doing the they're calling it the protoform colors, which are the prototype RC colors where it's like orange and pink and stuff. Um, that, and then uh, their larger remix Ravage mold, which is done in white, which is, you know, shatter glass slash kiss players glit. Uh, those are both going up for sale this weekend. We don't know exactly where. It looks like TFCon made it sound like it was going to be their site, but I suspect there'll probably be something on uh, Toy Dojo and maybe Ages 3 and Up, who I think we're sponsoring it. Um, should be listings there. Yep. Yeah, follow the TFCon Facebook page if you haven't, and uh, keep an eye out for those. But, you know, as usual, if you enjoy us, enjoy what we do, make sure to hit us up on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash TFYLP. Um, we know I think we still have Cut the Tape coming this Friday. You know, we have our uh, next Monday, I think, should be a live show again, not a pre-record for um, you know, our bread and butter show. Microcasters will be on Tuesday. Do we know? I assume we don't know what y'all are reviewing yet. Yeah. Okay. So... 
it'll be a surprise for everyone. So make sure to tune in to that live on Facebook. And then, of course, out to my wallet every other Wednesday or so here on YouTube. We won't have a show next week um, unless someone else hosts. Uh, the week after that, we'll see if people have toys in. But right now, people aren't really being able to buy too much. I might end up shipping my big bad pile of loot at some point and get a few things in. But You forgot a show. And, well... Is it going to stick around? Uh-oh. That's right. Well, I, do you have a schedule? <laughs> uh, the the elusive Mr. Starscream has been doing TF Talk News, which was uh, you have to ask an, him. an evolution of TF Talk Weekly, which was the worst name we could put on a show that we should more not like, have done. <laughs> more like yearly. But, uh, is there a regular release day for that yet for TF Talk? It's been Sunday for the past four Sundays. weeks. So yeah, so definitely check out. Su- it has been. So yeah, check it out on Sunday. We upload the. It's an audio only show. You know, it's mainly intended for the podcast, but we also uh, upload a version of it so you can listen to it while you work on YouTube. If that's how how you consume your medias, that's how I consume them. Um, so yeah, make sure to tune in for that. And with that, I think we are out. And we'll see. Also join us on Discord. Discord. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we have a. It is somewhat active. Yeah, we have a. a Brand new Discord channel. The link is in the video description here. I've put it in the default, so all our videos should have it now if you're ever looking for it. But yeah, join us and chat us up. Just have to join. You can get it on your phone. You can get it on your PC. It's very easy to use. and get notifications, blah, blah, blah. It's a great app. Yeah. So now, with that, thank you, Anna. I think we're done. And we'll see you all the next show. Bye-bye.